Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Forum mod. Now, because a bunch of you were awesome and you pointed out to me, I actually made the wrong armor set. I actually uh, decided to come on today and get all of the ore, so that because I made a mistake, we can kind of just make both anyway, because I didn't know there was two different types, and so I clicked on the first one I saw, but if there's two different types, we may as well make both and see what they're both like. So, I've collected, how many pieces of Acreite? I've collected 138, 9, 140 pieces of Acreite, and uh, I guess we can see what that makes when we get back, but there are a few more chests here that we should start looking for because I left behind that chest, didn't I? Because I uh, I died. So I thought we could start today's episode here in the aquatic depths and then go from there. So yeah, so thank you everybody for pointing that out. I actually had no idea. So it's really handy that you all did. And uh, yeah, there was just like so many of you. Thank you so much for, uh, for pointing out. I really do appreciate it. Right, let's uh, start killing some of these enemies and stuff. It made me so excited to see it was April 1st yesterday because uh, April 1st means it's the beginning of uh, what we classify as quarter two of the year, like, you know, Q2. And that's what a lot of developers use as like, you know, when they give uh, release estimates, they say, oh yeah, it's coming out in Q2 of 2017, which means that you guys, if you play console, you know, if you play PS4 or Xbox, you're actually uh, really close to getting yourself the uh, 1.3 update. I have no idea the date and, uh, You'll be sure that I'll, I'll explain it the second I find out. But uh, yeah, so we're, we've got that date now. It's April 1st. So it's kind of like a two to three month release window now. So we'll have to see what happens. Right, I'm getting caught in this uh, barrage of uh, nothingness again. I'm going to have to slaughter some of these people. Oh my god. Our health is uh, running pretty low. I don't survive very long in the aquatic depths because my armor's all mismatched. I obviously have one depth divers <laughs> set. I have one, uh, what's the other one called? One sec, I'll have a look in a second. One from Tide Hunters, and then one Featherleg. So, you know, I'm rocking mismatch. Oh, no, Barracuda. Get out of here, Barracuda. Okay, it takes a while to clear out some of these enemies. There are actually quite a lot of them. Okay, here we go. Right, so I only have 39 health. It may actually... Do you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the sensible thing. I'm going to go back and craft up my Aquite and see what we can make. I, uh, I moved all the pearls into crafting and such. Hopefully, we still have enough. All right. Craft up all this Aquite. And there we go. So, we have 39 pieces. So, let's see. There's Depth Divers set. And then there is Tide Hunters. Not just for hunting fish. 4% increased range. So, this is ranged. And then... Depth Divers is critical strike chance improved. Nearby allies gain... Oh, wow. So... Oh, right. That's interesting. So this is more of a uh, more of a healer's class. To be honest, that's not the uh, the best one then. Because obviously, that's still really good. But I don't know if we need it. So what's that total defense? That's 14... 14... 22? 22. 20. It's 20. I don't know why I uh, I started with that one. Four, five, five, so 14. Huh. Now I don't know which one to make. I guess we make... I'm going to go with Tide Hunters. Just because I feel like it'll be interesting. So I'm going to go with Tide Hunters. Okay. So that is a full set of Tide Hunters now. Set bonuses. Range critical strikes. Bring forth vile tentacles to attack hit enemies. That's cool. That's really cool. So what else is there to make? There's uh, a bunch of this stuff. What's that? 85%? Tool speed increase while wet. Do you know what? That would make uh, mining the rest of it really uh, easy, wouldn't it? I guess that's really good for uh, for mining in lava as well. If lava counts as being wet, that'd be pretty good. So depth divers. I have two more pieces to make, but I only have 21, 21 bars. So I guess I make the leggings for now. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to the um, we'll go back to the aquatic depths now. We'll go do some of the uh, the chests and such, and then we'll see what we can make. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put away these armors. So I'm gonna create this, this, and this, and then I'll favorite these two. And then I've got a bunch of stuff on me that I probably should get rid of. So like, <clears throat> this could go in blocks, and then up here this can go in weapons. No, that's accessories. I'm still a uh, I'm still perfecting all of these chests. I'm going to, like I say, once we get the marble biome, I'm going to do some uh, 
marble themed stuff. Right, so I'm gonna shine my shoes and I'll uh, I'll head to the aquatic depths. So just to make this a little bit easier and a little bit smarter, I uh, mined a little bit of aquite, came back, got the hydro pickaxe, and then I put on my flight gear so that when I fly there, it's a lot faster. And when I actually go there to like properly mine, it's a lot easier to mine. I thought you guys might like that. I thought that was quite clever. So uh, yeah, another little jump cut. I'll be there at the uh, the aquatic depths in no time. It's a long walk, so I thought you guys would uh, just want a little jump cut here. If you're not into jump cuts of me traveling, I'll uh, I'll, I'll slow them down. But uh, yeah, I like to, whoo, quick snap on there. All right, so we're here, so I'm gonna swap over to Tide Hunter, and we're gonna have to use a uh, range here to really get full effect. But the problem is, I don't necessarily want to use range just now, because I, uh, I quite like using the magic conch because one, it's a reference to SpongeBob, and uh, my god, that show was awesome when I was a kid. But uh, I just really like it. I like it because I, because uh, I saw the attack, didn't I? Do you know when we did the fight? Do you remember with the uh, the Grand Thunderbird? No, not the Grand Thunderbird. The Queen Jellyfish. With the Queen Jellyfish, we had that attack, and uh, I went, oh, man, that attack is amazing. And then we actually got the item for it, and I feel like that's a little bit special. But I, like, overall, I really, really, really like the aquatic depths. I think this biome is awesome. Like, you can tell, like, they've done something unique, and I really like it. It reminds me of, um, reminds me of those underwater Mario levels. That's what it reminds me of. So good. Super good. All right, Giga Clam, back off. Right. Okay. I uh, I did die here, by the way. I should uh, full disclosure. I did die. <laughs> I died and uh, yeah, <laughs> I went back. And then I got to film that thing about wanting to come back here with uh, with ore. But that, that's the reason I did die. Is that a uh, is that a queen bee biome? It is. Oh, that's weird. That's glitchy. Right, kill the giga clam. Giga clam, be gone. Here we go. Right. What's in this? Uh, what's in this chest then? Let's see. Uh, it's just another one of those. I will take the endurance for sure because, oh, that's so good. I'll take the silver, and then I'll take this as well. I will actually take it. I don't know necessarily why I need the one, but oh, that mine speed though, that aqui, I'm getting it. I'm getting it in stacks. This is gonna be good. I can mine that real fast. There is another one of those little, uh, those little statue chest things. I have seen it. I know I have. It was in the glitchy part of the jungle, so uh, I do know it's here. Oh, I, I needed to address something real quick. This is my fault, but kind of not my fault at the same time. But I do need to speak about it, just so I don't give any misinformation. So, in the Thorium mod, there is this item here, and I said, Oh, it's not letting me breathe underwater, and I said that yesterday, and a few of you were pointing out, No, Chippy, it does let you breathe underwater, and it's made for this biome. That's true, and that's right, but I was in a, you know that area where we first found the aquatic depths, where it's kind of like half jungle, half uh, half normal? I was in there, and I was dying with it on. And the reason why that was, is because it gives this thing here, choking aura, the depths pollute and poison all nearby airs, right? And for some reason, that debuff just wasn't working in this mismatch biome thing. And, it, uh, and it, it was killing me. But that's why I said it didn't work. Because I tested it in one area. Not knowing that it was glitchy. But I went back and tested it again. And yeah, just for some reason it just doesn't work in this one particular area. And that's why I said it. So I hope I didn't come across too much like a moron. I know you guys uh, <laughs> know that I do slip up all the time. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. So thank you for all those who explained that to me as well. Because uh, there were a few of you that were nice enough to kind of say, Oh, dude, uh, yeah, that's how it's meant to be used. Clearly. And as you guys know, I was, when I was speaking about it, that's how I, uh, that's how I, I introduced it. I was like, so this item's meant to do this, but it's not doing this for us. I don't know why, kind of thing. But yeah. Uh, right. I want to see that critical strike chance tentacle thing. Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it. It's like a little blue line, essentially. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right. Is that? What's that? Is that another heart crystal? Oh, do you know what? That looks a little because it was so dark. It looked like the top of a like a heart crystal, but they sprited it themselves to be like more blue. Oh, that'd have been cool. Like they restricted heart crystals throughout the world, and then in certain biomes that they've made, they give more heart crystals. That would be cool. That's like good incentive to go. But I'm gonna grab some more aquite. We are almost there with the aquite, and then I'm gonna grab thorium because purple necromancer has recommended it twice now. Uh, a few of you were disagreeing with his uh, words of wisdom about uh, Thorium Ore. 
But I uh, I do want to check it out because then at least we've, uh, we've seen it. And I do trust Purple Necromancer. That dude is, uh, yeah, well knowledgeable. <laughs> What's going on with that? Well knowledgeable. He's uh, He seems very clever because he has helped us out with uh, Calamity in the past. So I trust him. I do trust him to, uh, to guide us on the path to greatness. All right, I'm going to mine through to... See, this is the area where it was... That's the chest. So this is the area where it wasn't working for me. Let's go back there and see if I have the same problem. But this area was just glitchy in general. Like, it was, like, kind of uh, still forming as we walked into it. And all the water was coming down and stuff. It's part of the footage I never showed. That's why it's a little bit mismatched. Because I did record something in there. And then I cut it out because I was like, this is bad. I was like, I'm just looking like a fool. But then I guess I know why. Because I am one. Look at that nose. That hammerhead shark, though. It's currently uh, a few more... How many hours? It's like 30 hours until I get my uh, my new house keys. I'm really excited about that. As you guys know, this move has been a big part of my life recently. And uh, it's about to come to kind of a close. I, uh, I get the keys. And then I have to sit in an empty house. But it's going to be my house, right? I have to sit in this empty house for uh, some time. Because I've got to wait for the internet to be installed. <coughs> and then a week later... We're actually going to be moving the office. And uh, <clears throat> because of the internet timing... <clears throat> look at me, like, coughing away. Because of the internet timing, it should be one of these things where uh, we move in uh, and get the office set up in a day. So it should be, like, no problem to move in and uh, and record the next day. So there shouldn't be a break in content. If there is a break, just uh, put it down to me moving in and being quite uh, tired. And that will be on the 10th of April. So if you have to look at the date for that one in a few days, if I've not posted, uh, you'll know why. Oh, so it's just one of these again. Um, I guess I'll leave it behind. I'm just not interested. But I'm going to grab some more Aquai over here. See, it's not doing that effect to me anymore. So it makes me seem like I'm a little bit of a liar there. But uh, I swear it was happening. I swear. Oh, my God. Right, I am going to bail. Yeah, I should probably bail. Okay, right. So, Ack White. What's this? A silver bulwark. Oh, so this is one of these, uh, one of these shields. I'm just gonna have a drink. I apologize about that, guys. Uh, guys. I try not to, uh, to drink during recordings, but, um, yeah, my voice. My voice keeps popping off. So, we quick stack some stuff. We take a look at our inventory. We're still low on Aquite. We're still not quite there yet. We need to acquire some more. <laughs> but um, So I guess... Do we put it off for a day? Do we put it off or do we continue onwards? Let's see. I want to... How many... What have I got? So I've got the leggings and the helmet. I only need a few more, right? Just a few more? Let's see. Um... Yeah, so I need 22. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the jungle, which is this way. And then I guess we're going to... No, no, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go mine some more, and I'll be right back. But I won't show it because it's going to take too long. And I don't want you guys to uh, to get bored of uh, <laughs> the aquatic depths too fast. So I have to show this. I've just gotten here, right? And uh, I don't know what kind of hole I opened up. But have a look at my ocean, right? What is going on here, right? I'm not even kidding. What is going on with this? Look at my world map. Look at that. Like, did I open it up that bad? Like, I didn't even know Terraria would work like that. Like, it's just draining so fast. Like, what what possible hole could I have opened up this wide? That is mad. I've ruined this biome, or at least ruined a part of it. It's so interesting to see, though. I think it's settling now. Let's see. Is there any uh, enemies nearby? I just want to make sure I don't die here. Yeah, what is that about? Why am I getting poisoned? Oh, I'm just, I'm just literally poisoned. Uh, yeah, that's so weird, though. Look at it. Oh, I'm guessing it's all that. But that was already opened up, too, anyway. Wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. I never really thought about the logistics of it, but uh, that's that's kind of crazy, right? I'm gonna go do some mining, and I'll uh, and I'll be right back. All right, so I have all of the bars now, so we just need to make up a chest plate, and bam! Right, so this is the full set. So let's put this all on. Let's see. So six defense, 
Uh, critical strike chance increased by 6%. You and all nearby allies can breathe underwater. Set bonus, you gain each of your eliminating effects as well. Emanating effects, right. So, for example, if you were... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Right, so if you, you're emanating effects, you, you don't... Ah, I didn't know it worked like that. Nearby allies gain 8% increased damage. You gain that as well. So, the, the helmet's really useful, but then these two are kind of useless if you just have them on your own. Other than the fact that they already have defense. So, increased attack and increased movement speed. Let's see how that feels. I feel pretty fast. I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, our wings still work pretty well as well. Look at this. Depth damage. Damage done increased by 8%. Movement speed is increased by 10%. That's interesting, that, but I wonder how these are affected by... Uh, because in Terraria, you can only have so many buffs on at a time. I wonder if those uh, affect the number of buffs, you know, for other players. Like, whether having these on can cancel potion effects. I wonder how that works. But anyway, guys, like I said, next on the list is for him all. We'll be doing that tomorrow. And then hopefully we stumble across a marble biome tomorrow because then I can start working on the big giant house. Because I don't want to have... A world without a giant house before hard mode. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. As always, thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, I've been posting a new series every day of me kind of in real life. It's a new style, like it's a new style of video I'm not used to. But um, if you haven't checked it out before, there will be a link at the end. I'd really appreciate it if you would uh, check one out. I um, they're not a series that can grow on their own. You, they have to kind of work of a work off of word of mouth. So if you like them, show a friend and. Uh, or just tune in every day. I, I would really appreciate that. So, uh, like I say, it's something new. And I'm just trying it out. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't change anything else. But thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.